Hey yeah, YouTubers, Tazman here, and I'm bringing you my Minecraft from the ground up tutorial series, but we're doing it now for 1.8, as you can see down here in the bottom. So uh, we're starting completely from scratch, and we're going to try and cover everything Minecraft has to offer, all the way up to 1.8. And uh, this will also include snapshots and such, I believe. I'm trying to decide if I want to do that or not. So what we're going to do is first we're going to start out by creating a world. And this tutorial series is mainly geared towards people that don't know much about Minecraft at all. But you, everyone can use it as a reference or whatever. So we're going to create a new world and we're going to call it Minecraft from the ground up. And let's do 1.8. Okay, and we're going to play in survival mode. Now, um, you have options for your modes. This is uh, part of the tutorial here, I guess. But uh, survival mode is the standard one where you uh, search for resources, craft things, gain levels, have health and hunger. Uh, if we do hardcore mode, it's the same as survival except for if you die, uh, the world gets deleted. I don't like that one. And then creative, there's no health, no hunger. You can fly and build anything. All blocks are available to you. But we're going to do survival. So the next thing we want to do is click the more world options. And as you can see here, if you want to have structures, then uh, like villages, dungeons, mine shafts, and so forth, uh, then you leave that on. Uh, world type default. Uh, we're just going to leave that. You also have the options of super flat where you can customize it. And I'll go into those possibly in another tutorial series. Uh, large biomes, amplified, and uh, world type customized. And we'll also go on that at another date. Uh, we have the bonus chest option down here. Uh, this is if you want a little chest with a couple goodies in it. Generally, it's nothing really awesome. Usually, it's maybe some wood tools, maybe a stone tool. Uh, a couple pieces of, of wood itself and sometimes some food but we're gonna leave that off and then there's the allow cheats this is so you can type commands like game mode and XP and so on and so forth and we're gonna leave that off too even though I do want to show you some things uh, uh, in the game and as we're gonna be describing some of the things of the game uh, I'm gonna pause the day so we don't burn too much daylight because we could spend the whole day just going over the interface <laughs> so anyway and then up here is the seed now right now we don't have a seed for this world but once it's generated I'm gonna display the seed and all you have to do to have the exact same world that I'm playing on uh, generated for yourself is type in the exact seed which will be a string of numbers sometimes with a, a negative symbol before it sometimes not but you type that in here and then you can uh, click create world and it will generate the exact same world that I'll be playing on so we can play together. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. We're going to leave everything as is create a new world. Now, uh, why this is loading up, I want to tell you guys uh, right off the get go that uh, I changed. Oh, sorry about that bang in my desk. Uh, I changed my uh, key bindings and I'm going to show you how to do that just so there's no confusion on that. So it looks like we're starting in a plains with a birch forest and possibly a dark or a roofed forest over here. Oh yeah, roof forest and a birch forest. So as you can see the sun is rising. So one thing we're going to do is we're going to we're going to enable game mode or cheat cheat codes for us. And uh, normally you wouldn't do this in a normal game, but instead of enabling it so it's always available, I like to do it this way cuz it's a little less tempting to cheat uh, all the time. So a bunny's coming to see us. Hello, little bunny. Uh, so what we want to do is, first of all, let's get the seed up. So S-E-E-D. And you can do the seed command uh, on a single player world, whether you have cheats enabled or not. And it will show you. So as you can see here, uh, there's the seed. I'm trying to put it over something that will have a high contrast for it. So it's negative 214070. Uh, let's see, 0371463341935. And if you type that in your seed, remember the negative, uh, you will spawn 
somewhere right within probably eight blocks of where I am right now and you'll be in the exact same world that I am. Now what we're going to do really quick is also go into our we hit escape to get to the game menu we're going to click open to LAN and we're simply going to say allow cheats on and start LAN world. Now this actually makes it also so if you're playing on a local area network with uh, more than one computer you can actually have them join you in your world without having to be on the internet and everything so pretty cool stuff. Alright so what we're going to do first is see we've already burnt like a quarter of our day almost so we're going to go ahead and say game rule do daylight cycle false. And now you'll notice the sun is no longer moving. It just sits there. Uh, but we're also going to move the sun. So time uh, set and zero. Back to its starting position. And we're, oh, looks like there's probably lava over there. Because <laughs> we're getting some tree burning. Um, so anyway, there we go. Now we can do a little describing of the game itself. So first thing I wanted to show you is, as I said, um, I change my key bindings, only a couple of them, but if we hit escape to get to the game menu, go to options, and then right here's controls. Um, the ones I change all have these reset next to them because that will set them back to the default. First one is drop item. The default for that is the Q key. I don't like having the Q key set for me because I freak out sometimes when I'm fighting and I go to press number one to get my sword and I hit Q on accident and I throw it at him instead and then they pick it up and kill me. So I change it to T for throw. Now you can change that to anything you want and you know generally I don't need to throw something in panic so T's okay even though it's a little distance away. Uh, the sprint key's default key is the left control and if you just press that and then while you're walking or whatever you'll start running. Um, but uh, that's a little hard for me to reach so I changed that to E so that uh, I can actually uh, do it quickly. Um, then we have the inventory key which default is E and you'll notice when you're in this screen if you have conflicts like if I set this to E it turns red so we know that it's conflicting with another button. So I use I for mine for I for inventory <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, and then down here the last two is my lift, list players I've gotten used to it being the grave key or the tilde key uh, just above tab key default is tab but I usually set uh, when I'm doing a, a mod pack like Feed the Beast or something, I usually set tab to my map key so it shows me the world map. And then finally, uh, the default for your open chat is T, and I just change that to the return key, which is how a lot of games have it. So those are my keys. If I say, press the I key and you do it and nothing happens, odds are you need to press the E key instead or whatever you have your default binding to. Alright, the other thing is there are four different game modes or difficulty modes that you can do. There's normal, there's hard, there's peaceful, and there's easy. And we're just going to play on normal. Uh, the difference between normal and hard, each, each actual mode uh, peaceful, there's no mobs at all, um, and you don't have hunger, it never goes down. Um, on normal, media, uh, sorry, on easy, normal, and hard, basically the biggest difference is, is how bad the mobs hurt you and how much damage you take. Uh, however, hard also has the added uh, benefit of zombies can break down doors. So we're just going to do it on normal. Um, I think that's all we wanted to cover here. The other thing I wanted to show really quick is the achievements and statistics. <laughs> statistics! Okay, the, the statistics, sorry about that, I had to do something real quick, but the statistics basically show you everything about uh, your game. And you have general statistics, blocks, items, and mobs, which would be how many mobs and types of mobs you've killed items is crafted and stuff blocks is placed and 
and mind and stuff like that. And then achievements, of course, uh, we can use the mouse wheel to scroll in and out. Uh, we're on our very first one. Now you'll notice it automatically tells me press I to open your inventory. For you, it would say press E to open your inventory if you did not change that binding. It'll automatically update the binding. So anyway, that will be our first achievement and then we'll be able to get wood. Now as you notice here, it does not show you what you need to do uh, until this one's been taken. So let's just hurry and press I. There we go. Achievement got. Awesomeness. And now if we go back, oh, went too far. Uh, you'll see now it tells you a little bit more. Attack a tree until a block of wood pops out. So there we go. Now the next thing we're going to talk about really quick is the interface itself. And if we press our I for inventory, uh, we can see we have our little 3D preview of ourselves. And if we put on armor and stuff, we'll actually see that applied to this little 3D dude. And he follows your arrow or your cursor. Uh, we have slots for your armor items. We have a helmet, a chest plate, leggings, and boots. We also have our personal crafting area, which is four blocks. And you can build your basic things in here or when you need to do something on the fly. Generally, you can do them in there. Uh, you put the recipe uh, design or, you know, the recipe in here. And then you get your item out of there. Uh, these three rows of nine blocks each is your backpack or your pockets. I like calling it your backpack because those would be really big pockets. And then these nine blocks down here directly correspond with these nine blocks down here and this is called your hot bar so you can navigate through your hot bar by pressing the one through nine key or scrolling your mouse wheel all right and now we're going to talk about our little hearts here now hearts represent your health and health points there are two health points per heart so as you take damage these will go down half a heart if it's only half a, or one health point you lose, it'll be half a heart damage. Uh, and meat pops are the same way. You can call these drumsticks, whatever you want to call them, I call them meat pops. But uh, there's 10 here, but there's 20 hunger points that are associated with them. So two per meat pop. This bar right down here is your experience bar and you use that for an enchanting. And there's two that we can't see right now. One, when we go in water that's deeper than our head, we get these bubbles. And these bubbles right here slowly pop, and when they get all the way down, you start taking massive damage. Let's just show you real quick. We'll take one hit of damage, hopefully. And damage. So one heart of damage, uh, and when all your hearts are down, then you're dead. So as you can see, because we have full health or hunger, we're regenerating health. If if we have one of these meat pops gone, we will not generate health. So we have to have at least uh, 19 health points or 18 health points. No, it has to be 19. You have to have that tenth one, at least half a meat pop on it. <coughs> And then there's also one that corresponds to armor that shows you how much armor protection you're getting. And that depends on the type of armor. And we'll go into that as the game goes on. So the first thing we're gonna wanna do uh, is uh, go punch a tree. And I really prefer, well, we have birch trees over there. We have some seeds. Now that's another thing. Uh, you can break grass to get seeds seeds you can use to plant wheat, wheat you can use a crafting recipe to make bread. But we're going to go over that later too. And then we also have these nice little flowers. Um, let's go on over here. We only have, we're, we're not going to, this, this video is going to be a little longer because we paused the sun. Speaking of which, we need to go ahead and set it to true and start the sun back up. So now you can see sun is rising and we're starting. So we're pretending we just barely started, came into this wonderful world. We're gonna go on over here and we're gonna get some wood. Now to get some wood, generally uh, to break things, you use the left mouse button. To place things, you use the right mouse button. So let's go ahead and break us some wood. 
and this should give us our achievement there we go now a little tip uh, when I'm breaking a tree because some of them are tall I usually leave this guy down there for me to stand on and generally not always but generally it'll make it so you can actually break all the wood so let's see if that works here and perfect see so we can't hit those leaves up there but we could get all the wood um, and if we didn't have that we wouldn't be able to get that last wood without placing a block down now you'll notice that once you break the last piece of wood in a tree it'll start deteriorating or decaying and upon decaying there's a chance for a birch tree and most other trees there's only one tree that's different uh, to drop a sapling. Let's see if we can see a sapling fall. And some tree saplings are more rare than the others. The jungle sapling actually is really rare to get. Why I'm not sure. I hope we might have got it. Get any saplings? Do we have? No, none. Let's try another tree. All right, let's do this tree right here. So this being a birch forest, all we're gonna see is birch trees in it. Uh, other, the standard forest actually contains both oak and birch. Now the nice thing about your oak tree is you also get uh, a chance of, oh, we got a sapling. Uh, you get a chance of an apple dropping from it and apple is food okay so uh, here we have a chicken I saw some other mobs uh, we need to get some food going oh there's a baby rabbit now if you kill rabbits you can get three drops uh, one is rabbit hide uh, another one is rabbit meat and there's a rare chance you'll get a rabbit foot and you use a rabbit foot in potions uh, with chickens you get two things you can get feathers and you can also get chicken meat now chicken meat is a special one in the game uh, where with chicken meat uh, it's the only meat that if you eat it I'm maybe not say the only meat because you can also eat zombie raw on flesh but if you eat chicken raw chicken uh, you stand a chance you stand a chance of getting uh, a hunger poison it doesn't hurt you but it does make your hunger uh, bar go down much quicker so let's go ahead and do our first crafting recipe so first we're gonna put one oak or one oak, one birch wood in our crafting area, and you'll see one yields us four planks. If we put two or more in there, uh, this will yield us eight. If we hold down shift when we click that with the left button, it automatically does it all. Let's also throw in a couple more, and we're gonna learn our second crafting recipe. We're gonna take that, and we're gonna right click to get half of it, and that's going to be wooden, wooden planks on top of wooden planks give us sticks and that gives us four each so here we're gonna get 32 right yep all right so now we have that and let's do our next crafting recipe we're gonna put one more in there and if we fill up this two by two we can with our wooden planks we get a crafting table and we get an achievement, achievement get. Now, uh, oh, there we go, there's some stone right there, good. So uh, I'm gonna grab some dirt, just cause I like to have a little extra building blocks on me. Now most your building blocks uh, will stack up to 64 and then it has to take up another slot. Sorry about that, we're gonna, um, oh, I forgot what I was gonna say. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and place our crafting bench. Now we're gonna go over the tools that you can build or some of the basic tools you can build. And a lot of them look a lot like their actual item that they create. 
So the first one we're going to do is if we put one stick to act as a handle and two wooden planks to act as the blade, we get a wooden sword. We're not going to build the wooden sword right yet because we're going to wait till we get some stone. If we go for a larger handle, we can get other tools. So if we do that, we first get a shovel if we just do that. So we have our long wooden handle and we have the little uh, head at the top. Uh, if we do two, and it doesn't matter which side you do on, we can get a wooden hoe. We're not going to make that either. And if we do three in this shape, you get a nice wooden axe. And we're not going to make that either, but as you can see, that works either side. And then, of course, we have the one we are going to make, which is our pickaxe, and this is for mining stone. So we're going to go ahead and use that. We're going to organize a little bit, and we're going to take our crafting bench. Now, people call this the crafting bench, workbench, crafting table, whatever. Uh, it doesn't matter. Now some of these chickens, it looks like they've laid eggs. This is good because you can stand a chance of getting a chicken if you throw an egg. And you throw it by right clicking. And there's our baby chicken. He'll go find a mama. Alright, so let's go over here. Oh, pretty lucky. Oh, not so lucky. Uh, we got two of our mobs right here. We got a creeper and an enderman. Now creepers are bad news because they sneak up on you. And when they get up to you, they have a, a quick little, oh, we can go up here. They have a fuse and they uh, explode. So we're gonna go ahead and use our pickaxe on him. <laughs> and this is gonna take quite a few hits. Best way to kill him is run up to him, hit him, and then back up. Uh, Cause as you see how he's flashing there, white, uh, and you can hear the pssst sound. Uh, he has a two second, fuse and then he blows up and lots of times will kill you <laughs> all right so uh, endermen are usually pretty passive until you look at them so see your little crosshairs never put it on the enderman himself they hate that uh, so let's go ahead we're gonna grab some stone here and by getting the stone it turns into cobblestone which is what we need for making some stone tools Maybe we'll take out that enderman real quick. Now creepers, when you kill them, they usually will drop, um, they'll drop gunpowder. Endermen stand, have a chance of dropping uh, ender pearl. So we're gonna make our stone sword real quick. We're gonna look at the enderman. Now the reason we're gonna look at the enderman is because we're in a too high area. He's three high and he does some mega damage when he hits you but he can't reach us because we're in a too high area he's too tall so we're gonna go ahead and kill him endermen also pick up three types of blocks they they can pick up dirt and grass and they can pick up sand how many a monster hunter when i killed the creeper and they can also pick up gravel so let's go ahead we're gonna grab our box our crafting bench again workbench crafting table whatever <laughs> and let's see we got one chicken let's go grab a couple more chicken uh, this this right here is gravel gravel and sand in the game follow the laws of gravity meaning that if they're placed where nothing's below them they will fall if they fall on top of you, if I was digging here, if I was digging this block here and there was this gravel above it, uh, it would fall on me and I could take suffocation damage. So not very fun. All right, so let's see, get some more chicken here. Oh, missed you. Grab another egg. We're gonna keep some eggs so we can actually, oh my heck, it's night. All right, so what we're gonna do now is quickly, we're gonna dig in the wall here. Oh. I didn't make a pick yet, which is, or oh, I did make a pick. I just want to make a stone pick. So we're going to make some of our basic tools real quick. Um, we're just going to make a pickaxe. We already have a sword. So there's our pickaxe. So instead of the wooden planks at the top, we just put cobblestone 
and we're good. And then we're going to dig into this wall just a little bit. Now there was some coal. I don't think I can reach it. It was way too high. There was some coal in the ceiling over here. Let's see if I can... Oh, zombie. Okay. Mobs are already starting to form, so we're just going to hurry and dig in. <laughs> and we'll continue tomorrow on Minecraft anyway. All right, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Um... I think that pretty much covers uh, some basic stuff for us. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you click the like button down below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to my channel. There's lots of great videos, uh, lots of educational stuff, and uh, lots of fun stuff to boot. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed. If so, Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And we're getting hungry, but we'll cover that in our next episode. And until next time, I'll be see you later. Bye.